First of all, there is a good chance that you don't know what Outriders is, because most people don't. I didn't know what Outriders was until about two weeks ago when I first started hearing things about its demo. Outriders is a third-person looter shooter. There are a bajillion of those at this point in time, so when I say that, you probably already know exactly what to expect. But what was interesting about Outriders for me was that the genre of the game wasn't what drew me into it, it was the experience of playing a demo. Because it's been a very long time since I've actually played a real demo. I've played plenty of open betas and pre-ordered to get closed beta access and jumped through all these different hoops to experience games before they come out. But this is just a demo. The developers said, hey, our game's coming out next month. Why don't you play it? See if you like it. And if you do, then you can buy it. And that was a refreshing experience, but also a nostalgic experience, because when I was a kid playing on my PlayStation 1, I used to get demo CDs all the time, and those demo CDs were packed with 10 or 15 different games, and I would try them all, and sometimes I would just keep playing the demos over and over again, because I wouldn't always have the money to get the game right away, but it was always fun to taste and see what the games were like, and... Outriders demo was the perfect opportunity for me to see what the game was like and every step of the way I was endeared by the experience and it all started with the prologue. The prologue dumps you into a pretty generic story of humanity having to leave Earth behind because we've ruined the planet and we find a new home to live on and we go on to this new world and start exploring and the plot continues to thicken as we move forward. But what was so nice about it was that the characters felt very real and warm and genuine. I didn't feel like the characters were stiff and rigid and I wanted to learn more about them as time went on. In fact, when I got to the final mission of the campaign in the demo, I was a little bit sad because I was enjoying my interactions with the characters and I just wanted to see where things go. I might not be happy with the ultimate conclusion of the story when the full game comes out, but for now I am curious about where things are going to go, and I'm having fun constantly listening to all the different interactions. Before we move on with the rest of the discussion, I'm going to show you a couple of snippets from the prologue so you get an idea of what the character interactions were like. Alright, tell me the truth. You think the ECAs thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit. Designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm, uh... Sorry. He would have been in awe of this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. Hey. Is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? What do you make of this place, Jakob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up to it... Maybe we won't. Sure, maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. 
believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. Mods. Huh? People don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? Uh, the house always wins. Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. Oh. There's nowhere else to go. Oh. 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 We need medics! See to them! Hurry! No, stop. They're contaminated. We contain them. That's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you! We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to... No! Contain this. Now! And burn the fucking bodies! So, we've got a scientist that likes taking selfies, we've got a Russian guy that thinks humanity is trash and it's never gonna change, and we also have the evil British guy that's telling us to... It feels like a combination of a bunch of different cliches and tropes, but I don't really mind that. It, it's like a B-movie, almost. I don't think anyone watches a B-movie and hopes to get inspired by the dialogue or hopes it's the greatest thing ever. They watch it because it's fun, and that's what Outriders feels to me. It feels like it's fun. And fun, that word, that is gonna be the through line that permeates Outriders demo, this discussion, and even the full game for me. It's just a fun experience. It's not the second coming of Jesus. It's not a division killer or a destiny killer. It's not a revitalization of the looter shooter genre, though maybe it is. It's probably not though. It's just a game and it's fun. So now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, we're gonna dive into the gameplay. What we're gonna watch now is my first time experiencing things as the pyromancer. All right. Here we go. We are inside Outriders proper. We finished up the prologue, and now I am officially a pyromancer, which means I have fire-based powers, and I'm really cool, and I'm excited to dive into this demo so I can learn a bit more about the game. We've already got a prompt on screen. Health regeneration. As the pyromancers, enemies that are hit by your abilities are set aflame and marked. Killing these enemies will restore your health in combat. This is the most effective way you can restore your health during combat. So each of the different paths or classes in the game have a different way to heal themselves. And what I just read to you is my way of healing myself. So I light them up, and then once they die, then I get a little bit of health back. So that's going to be fun to interact with. But something else that I've, I've been enjoying about the game from going through the prologue and now in the game properly is that I really get a sense that I'm playing a cover shooter like Gears of War, but I'm also a fire mage. And that's that's pretty cool. Because the way the guns look, the way the character moves, even the way I sit in cover, you could very easily replace my character with Marcus Phoenix, and it would be a thing. And then also the way you can run from cover piece to cover piece is kind of like the division a little bit. Like if, if, I'm, if I'm sitting in cover right now and I look at another piece, I can select that piece and move to it automatically, the same way you can in the division. So all of the, the systems that are in place, they feel reminiscent of, or, or reminiscent of other games that I've played within the same genre, but we've got our own twist on it. We've got that, that the sci-fi elements and the RPG elements, the classic fantasy elements that are combining together. And out of that chest I just picked up a sniper rifle, so I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit to experiment with all the different things in the game. I'm gonna try and change up my tactics as, as often as I can, just so I get an idea of what, of what it all feels like. And so far, 
I am enjoying the way it feels to just shoot the guns, but also the abilities feel really good too. Those headshots have a, a similar feel to a Gears of War headshot. And I'm, I'm going to be making a ton of comparisons to, to different games because that's just something that happens whenever you, whenever you engage with something new. You compare it to things that you've done in the past. Looks like this guy's pushing me a little bit. I think my ability lagged a little bit there, but it got him in the end, so that's fine. And maybe I should have saved it for those three guys that are up there. But I can also just use my, my rifle on them, maybe. But you know what? My flame ability is back, so why don't we, why don't we deal with this guy that's been kind of sneaking up on me, and then we'll turn around and just send a wave of fire. Let's see if it actually reaches. No, it didn't reach all the way. But hey, let's 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 push forward a little bit. We use our our melee attack that we have to set some more guys on fire, and we can see in the in the bottom left hand corner of the screen that is my my health. And you'll see it jump back up every time someone dies that's been set on, on fire. <clears throat> now my melee does have a short cooldown on it, and it does not have that much range. So I'm going to have to get up close and personal if I want to use that. In the top left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see the radar showing us where the enemies are. We've got a bunch of red dots that we're going to have to take care of. The assault rifle sounds pretty good, too, that, that we're using. I, I like the, the way things sound. That's an important component to, to every game, how it sounds, how it feels, and all of those things are syncing up. But I want you to turn your attention to that to that radar again in the top left. There's a skull on the map, so that's probably a big dude. Yes, it is. We've got a cremator. Well, I'm gonna try and cremate him before he cremates me. Looks like there's two of them now. So maybe I should <coughs> get out of the way. I think I've trapped myself in a corner, and I kinda don't like that. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's send out some flames of our own. And start laying into these guys. It's a little scary when there's two of them. Oh gosh, let's, uh, oh, that was unintentional. I guess if I'm sprinting and use my melee, it will do that kind of ground slam thing. And I really need my health to come back right now. Man, oh man. Well, that got a little rough and tumble. But we made it out, and we leveled up. We got some max health, some ability power, and a new ability. You can change and reassign something. I saw the prompt. Ah, so here we go. Now we're inside the, the skills menu. The skill that I've been using so far is called Heat Wave. Summon a fiery wave that deals 24 damage and inflicts burn onto all enemies in its path. Cool, cool. And feed the flames. Select and pull an enemy towards you, dealing 34 damage and draining 34 health. And in select and pull an enemy towards you, dealing 34 damage and draining 34 health. And inflict ash. I don't know what ash is, nor do I know how I can figure that out. But oh, ash! It must be some kind of oh, it's an immobilization. I can tell from the the little picture. In the, oh, that's cool. So I've got some crowd control, some damage, and a quick burst of healing. I like it. I'm already excited to see what other skills that we get and how we can mix and match them to create builds for ourselves. <clears throat> oh, I just saw I picked up some pants. And I got some pants. I could smell the storm in your blood, your stink of Enoch. Your kind are abominations, exile. Who the hell are you? Outrider. Impossible. Such untapped power, such confusion. You want answers. Whatever you were before, you're something new now. A second life. Don't waste it. Who... 
Who was that? Lord Seth? He's... he's altered. I think it's a little man. A little man. Altered? What the fuck does that mean? You... <laughs> you don't know what you are. <laughs> Where'd you steal that uniform? I didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's on the wrong side, Haltered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come. And just like that, we've been thrust into a strange new world. We are officially a fish out of water. Where is she? There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. Do whatever you have to do, Lieutenant. Shira? You're alive. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You came from their side. You got any intel for us? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on. I've just woken up to mud. And shit, I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. What happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them not to land. Anything more advanced than a grease engine got fried. All our data. Wiped out. We couldn't grow crops or make medicine. So we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other over the little we have left. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have- The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit, like the rest of us. You should have never woken up. What an... miss out on all this? Grand Marshal, we were too late. The hounds have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Oh, well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yaku. Yaku? He's still alive? Not for much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. Ma'am? Ma'am? Never mind. We've got it covered. Alright. The cutscene... I've, I've been surprisingly flattered by the cutscenes. They feel... wholesome and campy and corny. And all the characters feel like they are based on tropes. And I absolutely love it. I wasn't necessarily expecting Shakespeare from the prologue I, I was kind of expecting maybe something a little bit more philosophical hope you all brought your galoshes <laughs> same shit different planet what you wish you burn the fucking bodies you people are insane all of this is fucking insane oh yeah it is but now that we've been dumped into Mad Max Fury Road I'm I'm just going with whatever comes and I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. So let's look at this world tier system. Setting a higher world tier will increase the game's difficulty but offers better loot. Choose the world tier card to set another tier and claim your rewards. So you can see the world tier easy is what we have access to. I'll claim some rewards. So we have to go rescue Yakub. He was a character that we met in the prologue and hey, Shira. that's I'm cool. I'm geared up and tracking down Yakub. Now who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child slavers. They call themselves the Hounds. Other oh, vendors no are one's complaining gonna them if you put a few dozen in body bags. Why the hell haven't you done something about them already? Honestly? Because their black market keeps our soldiers happy. And at least they're not eating their own fucking kids like the insurgents were fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. <laughs> Uh, this game is not very withholding with the F word. And for anybody that doesn't know, it's not friendly, it's fuck. But it, I, <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like the fact that the game seems like it knows what it is and knows what it wants to do. And I'm going to be along for the ride 
instead of instead of sticking with whatever expectations I had, you know, whatever cafe Americano that I have running through my veins right now, that's not going to that's not going to taint what the game actually is. I'm not going to expect some Shakespeare coffee shop. I'm going to expect Mad Max Fury Road at this point in terms of the level of dialogue and the seriousness with which all the characters take themselves and their actions. I'm looking for Jakub Dubrowski. Go away. <sighs> Listen, asshole. You got a gun pointed right at your... <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... What do you want? Do you do you want a Chardonnay or do you want a beer? And I think this game is a beer. <laughs> so we're we're thrown into another combat scenario and we're gonna get to use our abilities. We use that new one to, to hit that guy. We're gonna push up a little bit. The the assault rifle is like a, a mid range weapon, so I'm gonna try and stay within the mid range when I'm fighting. And I but I definitely don't wanna get into the habit of playing this as if it were Gears of War. I'm going to play Outriders right now. I'm going to move and use the abilities the way they're meant to be used. I'm not going to try and I'm not going to try and play a cover-based shooter cuz this is that's not what this is. <clears throat> now, I am going to take cover when I when I need it. But I'm going to engage with all the mechanics of the game. Oh boy. I may, I may have bitten off more than I can chew, but let's just continue Pressing buttons and see if we can survive. Oh, I was too far. <laughs> I, I, I may have bitten off more than I could do. Let me just <laughs> run back a little bit and hide. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that feels better. I feel safe now. Let's send out that wave. I totally missed my intended target because he's walking around. And that's fine. Okay, uh, that got a little dicey for a second. Arena objectives. Each arena has goals and must be completed. These objectives are marked with icons on your radar. Yeah, that's gaming 101. I know how to play games, bro. Right, we replenished our ammo. Let me just make sure everything's reloaded. Yeah, it is. I forget to reload in almost every game that I play. Oh, boy. These guys look like they're going to rush me down. So, you know what I'm going to do? Where are they? They're going to they're going to push me. So, I'm going to burn them straight away. And keep them at bay with my abilities. Oh, this one is being aggressive. Let's hit him with that that melee and do a little backpedal action. And then we got some some targets off in the distance. But I want to get close enough to use my abilities because my abilities are, are mid range, so I want to I want to stay within that range as, as best as possible. And this this feels like the sweet spot for me as the pyromancer. Let's hit that guy with the ash. That guy burnt to death. It feels good. I like it. I got to be careful about about those guys. I was just thinking. I wonder if I'm gonna get rushed by another another guy with some some meat cleavers he's trying to chop me up and maybe make a sandwich out of me but i'm not having that <clears throat> hey buddy looks like he was trying to go for a flank send out the fire looks like the hitbox is kind of kind of thick on that one up oh, we got some more meat cleavers coming out let's hit him with the ash hit him with the melee Oh, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the bodies. That was... Hey, look at that. It's green. That means it's good. Got some new boots. And a, a shawl? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, look at that. I got a little shawl. And I got some goggles. That's a staple of the wasteland. What I tell you? Mad Max Fury Road is all over this game. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for the wasteland now. I just need some, some dirty brown pants, and I'm ready for the wasteland. Come on. This is beautiful.
Nice eyes. Hey! Whoa. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought this was the bathroom. You okay? I had it under control. Been a while. Do I know you? Kurva! <laughs> then I thought you were dead. You'll soon be dead if you don't get your ass to Shira's right now. Uh, Shira. All right. Come meet me there when you're ready. Shira, I got Jakob out in one piece. He's on his way to you. That old drunk just refuses to die. <laughs> well, you should come join us. We have some catching up to do. Before we get into the next area, I want to say that I'm very appreciative of the fact that there is a good balance between walkie-talkie dialogue, as in the stuff that we hear over our comms, and the actual cutscene dialogue. Because I, I get tired of listening to things over the walkie-talkie and having story explained to me while I'm shooting stuff. And sometimes I just want, I want to see my characters interacting. And there's been a really good mixture of both in this game so far. And I hope that continues throughout the entirety of the campaign. I'm looking forward to it. So this area feels like it's going to be the central hub for possibly the whole game or maybe just for the demo. But whatever the case is, it, it's a pretty stark difference from what existed in the prologue area in terms of the color palette, which is... As, to an extent, it's unfortunate because the the color palette of the prologue was beautiful. There were luscious greens and beautiful blue skies and, and water, and, and it, it was very pretty, and now everything is a variation of brown. So, I'm, you know, I hope that as we explore and as we move to new areas that we get some of those greens back because the game had a certain vibrance to it in the prologue that is gone now. But I, th I I have a feeling that it might come back, but if it doesn't, I'm always going to be hoping that I find that area where it does come back. No, because he won't. Because he can do what the fuck he wants. Hey, never been so happy to see a familiar face. You haven't aged a day. And you got old, my friend. In the hallway, that was Seth. What was he doing here? Ignoring our pleas for help. I thought he was on your side. <laughs> Seth, he's not on anyone's side. The insurgents have altered their walking nightmares. We're lucky Seth shows up to fight them back sometimes, but only if it fits whatever the hell game he's playing. Hey, damn it. You have no idea how bad it is, Outrider. We thought we escaped the apocalypse. We thought we could start over again here. But we were wrong. I was wrong. Shira. Do you know why I'm in charge? Because I'm the only officer left alive. The insurgents at our door, they're feral, sadistic. They have us surrounded. We're low on food and bullets. And if those freaks don't kill us, this planet will! Welcome back. The black fungus in the forest. We never found a cure. The mountains are filled with abominations. And the anomaly storms get bigger every year. We don't have much time left. If we don't find a way out of this valley, if we don't find a miracle, this last shred of humanity is over. Shira! Well, would you look at that? I can do things now. I don't understand, but maybe there's a reason. Yes, you are. I guess I know why I saved your damn life all those years ago. I'm sure this isn't exactly what you had in mind. I'm not complaining. Still, I don't get it. The day we landed, that storm, it tore Cuthbert apart, but not me. Why? Why was I... Altered? Who the hell knows? 
When those storms hit, some get ripped inside out, some turn pink polka dot, and a few come back. Fucking immortal. Nothing about the anomaly makes sense. It disrupts the laws of nature. It mutates whatever it touches. Early on, the ECA's best scientists tried to understand the storms, to tame them. None survived. I guess you got lucky, boss. <laughs> or maybe not. All I care about is that you are on our side. Our only supply line is blocked by an altar that our weapons cannot touch. Out by the old solar array. Seth had no interest in helping us, but now... You're here. Hmm. Hell, why not? Maybe I can buy humanity another day. Lieutenant, what the hell was that? The whole front line just collapsed! Like an earthquake, all right? I, I, I think we lost our whole first line of defenses! On my way. Go, go, go! Hey. In case I don't get another chance, I... I tried to find you. But it all went to shit. We had to run for our lives. I just... Forget it. I'm alive. I should have been dead ten times over, if not for Tanner, if not for Shira. I'm the one with dues to pay now, Jakob. Boss! I missed you. It's good to have you back. Now go beat that altar's ass for us, so we can get back in this goddamn fight. It feels kind of wholesome sometimes, you know, some some of these character interactions. There was another interaction like that in the the prologue where I, I just felt like I was getting really into what the characters were saying and the relationship that they had with each other. And I do realize I'm talking over some dialogue right now that's going to happen sometimes. Deal with it. Anyway, we got a new ability. <laughs> we got a new ability. And this one is called Thermal Bomb. Select an enemy to burn interrupt and deal 20 damage to if killed while still affected by the skill i'm sorry afflicted by the skill the enemy will explode dealing 164 damage within a large radius interesting gonna be curious to see how that plays out in actual combat i like the little visual of the of the ability being used but things don't always go so cleanly when you're out in the field So, let's uh, let's continue marching on. All right, here we go. Open up, open up, open up, open up. I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. Hurry, 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 hurry. Action, action, shooty, shooty. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> Do I see a big tower? Yeah, I also see burning people. But it's a mess out there. Everything's upside down. Yeah, I noticed. Don't worry, I'm carving my way through it. All right, let's get to work. We're charging our way through a pretty intense battlefield right now. Oh, enemies, enemies, enemies. Let's raise some flames on these fools. And then, oh, let's try out that new ability, right? We mark somebody, and then if we kill them, they explode. Ah! I mean, I, I took some damage while I was watching the explosion happen, but that was pretty cool. That guy is also very big. That's what she said? Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's burn him up and, and, and deal with him. Oh. Yeah, let's hit that guy with the thing and then roll out of the way of this guy that's trying to chop me and then maybe just set him on fire. Alright. And what do we have here? Uh, restock your ammo. That's nice. I appreciate it. It's never fun to run out of bullets in a game and restock points are going to be the way that we keep ourselves full of ammo. And I think I saw an exclamation point on the minimap, and that's probably a side quest. So why don't, why don't I go ahead and see what she's got to say? I'm the only one left. They're all gone. They're all dead. They're all dead? Well, let's talk about it, sweetheart. Alter, you're too late. What happened here? What does that fuck 
fucking look like? We got mutilated. We had the bastards cornered, but they had a captain. Sure, let's go through the dialogue options. A captain. Yeah, you know, the fuckers with powers who get put in charge. Not a real altered. Not like we could notice a difference. What's he look like, this captain? Scar down his face. Sadistic fuck. Oh, he forced half my squad to walk into an anomaly, and he enjoyed it. Yeah, I think I know the guy. Where is he? Inside the bunker up the hill. I wish I could look him in the eyes when you make him pay for what he did. I think I'll pay him a little visit. For old time's sake. Altered! Give that captain what's coming to him. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Time I settle up with this captain. Oh, hello. This guy just rolling out from from behind cover. That's your mistake, buddy. You step out of cover, I'm going to get you. Oh, this one is kind of heavy. Let's hit somebody with the the mark of death. Oh boy, he's getting way too close for comfort. Oh, it seems like there's a sniper somewhere, because I keep seeing a red line trained on me. And that guy threw a grenade, so we're going to maneuver around him. Set him on fire, force him out of cover, pound the ground, give that guy a little mark. I mean, he's not next to anybody, but it still looks cool when people explode, right? Oh wow, there's a there's a lot of guys for me to contend with. I, I feel like I'm gonna have to worry about getting flanked a lot in the the higher difficulties. That feels like it's gonna be a problem. Like w w like w when enemies start really hurting me, I'm gonna have to be very conscious about getting flanked and getting pushed and uh, not being out of position. Come on, so somebody poke your head out. I want to shoot somebody in the face. You. Look at me. 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 There you go. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's let's just let's do some running. Here. Ooh, that was satisfying. Oof. Almost got punished. For trying to be cool, I almost got punished. But that's fine. Oh yeah, this, this feels really nice. Oh, it's just just watching it is really nice. Might not be the most effective way to kill something, but it it certainly looks nice to to do it to, to do a little combo. And what? Oh man, I'm enjoying these abilities so far. It seems like that's going to be the real strength to the game is the the ability usage and that's not to say that the shooting mechanics feel bad because they don't they feel crisp they feel clean and they they don't feel dated i think that's an important thing they, I, I don't feel like i'm playing some old cover shooter from 2001 or something it feels legit interrupts and resistance altered enemies and anomaly enhanced creatures can cast their own abilities and protect against your skills a filling cast bar shows that an enemy is concentrating to use their ability. You can hit a casting enemy with your interrupt keyword skill to stop them. When you use skills that interrupt or immobilize elite enemies, those enemies will build up resistance. This is indicated by the swirly icon turning blue. When resistance has built up, the enemy gets engulfed in a blue aura. Uh, the blue aura indicates that an enemy is temporarily immune to interrupt and immobilizing effects. You cannot interrupt an enemy's abilities while it is in this state. The bar around the icon indicates how long this will last. It's pretty straightforward. Nice tutorial. I dig it. 
Uh, which one of my skills has the interrupt on it? It was the last one I got, right? Yeah, thermal bomb. Okay, thermal bomb. Let's keep that in mind. I'll, I'll try and I'll try and play this tutorial as it was meant to be played. Like no doubt, whenever this guy is casting, I'm meant to hit my thermal bomb to interrupt him, and I'm dead. Let's try that again. Okay, not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to get my ass kicked, but to be fair to myself, I also wasn't expecting a giant flaming tornado to appear and start wreaking havoc on the battlefield. So, let's try and prevent that from happening again. But also, I, I definitely want to clear out the minions because they're out here doing damage to me. And there he goes casting the tornado, but I have nothing to interrupt it. So it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to interrupt. Oh, no, that wasn't the tornado. I think he healed his guy. Where'd he go? Oh, there's somebody next to me. Let's hit him with a melee. Oh, boy. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot, there's a lot to consider at any given moment. We've got a, a, fl a flaming tornado. We've got minions. We've got guys all over the place. A lot, a lot of stuff. Not to... Oh, I hit the wrong target. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. It's not supposed to be like this, guys. It's not supposed to be like this. Let's get our health back. Tornado's coming. Let's move. Come on, cast something else. I'm ready to interrupt it this time. Come on, do something else. Do something else. Do something else. I'm ready for you. Not today, friendo. Not today, friendo. Not today, friendo. I'm using all my freaking skills on you, bro. Uh-oh. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Let's just chill for a second. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Let's just, let's just, let's just chill. Let's just chill. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. Everything's under control. Whoa. Ha. <laughs> Look at that. Hold control to eliminate? What, am I going to rip his face off? Wait! Stop! You're an altar. You can do whatever the fuck you want! Where the fuck are you fighting for those... those fascist assholes? We're the ones... fighting for our lives! Do you know what they did to us? I know what you did to me. <laughs> Outriders always pay what's owed. That soldier will want to see his head for herself. Uh, do I have to bring her back to? Oh, well, I guess I can fast travel to her or something. But that that was that was fun and that was a bit more challenging than I was expecting. But it's it's good that it is challenging. It's good that I feel pressured to use my abilities in the correct way and and combo them and make use of the mechanics that exist in the game. Because you know it would be kind of stupid if I had this mechanic that heals me if I didn't feel like I needed to use it in order to survive. So that was I think a good. Sh a good sign. I think what just happened to what I just experienced is a good sign of what's to come in the game. And the, the, honestly, the f the more I play, the more I'm getting into it. The more I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing and experiencing. What's up, girl? Altered. He paid. Not enough. You gonna be okay? You need a. Medic or something? You nuts. A medic round here will kill me faster than the shrapnel will. Don't worry about me. I'll live to fight another day. All right. <sighs> hey! You did a good thing. <laughs> I brought this man's head, and she feels like he didn't pay enough of a price. Fair enough. Maybe I should have... I don't, doesn't matter. We get to select a reward. We got a, a blue bolt action sniper, killing shots, regenerate 35 points of your health. That's really cool. 
We got a shotgun with freezing bullets. Shots inflict freeze on enemies. Cooldown of eight seconds. That feels like it'd be very strong against enemies trying to push me. And then finally, an assault rifle with proliferation. Shots on enemies afflicted by a status condition. Inflict that status to a nearby enemy. That feels like it was straight up designed for the pyromancer and my my burning abilities. So I'm going to take that. And we're going to put it on immediately. Nice. All right, let's continue on with the reunion quest line, which I believe has automatically been re-added to my to my to my map and my radar. That was fun. That was fun. You know, I, I, I still have a lot of stuff that I wonder about with regards to Outriders. I, I wonder if if the, the gameplay loop is going to continue to be fun. But I have a good feeling about what I'm doing right now. And that and that's a nice thing. I, I, I don't feel bored within the first, you know, hour or so of gameplay that I've engaged with. Uh, if anything, I feel like I'm getting more and more interested with every with every moment that goes by oh and this gun doesn't sound like the last gun that i was using and i think that's a good sign as well because if all the weapons sound the same that's going to get old real fast Woo boy this is a little bit something else oh look at that the, it, I mean, the gun worked. The status effect of Ash was spread to another target. I'm already digging it. I'm getting major deja vu in this place. Reminds me of that mission in Damascus when we rescued those diplomats. I had to save your ass from that machete-wielding mob. Ha! Huh, more like that time I had to save your sorry ass from that redneck mob storming DC. Those missions felt like we were fighting for a reason. But this shithole, it's never been worth fighting for. So what's it all about for you, then? Just trying to live another day. Boss, we're barely holding on. Sounds like I chose a good day to wake up, then. <laughs> Alright, I got a little bit of walkie-talkie action going. So I've just been clearing out some areas and getting accustomed to my own abilities more and more. Nothing too crazy has happened in the last five minutes, but it's it's nice. I'm just kind of going through the different arenas right now, the, the different combat section. It feels like there is going to be a formula with the, the combat areas, and we're going to be engaging with that formula throughout the entire game. But the good thing is the, the formula that I'm engaging with feels fun so far. You know, er, early early on, I feel like I'm engaging with a formula that I feel like I can engage with for a long time. You know, it's like we go through an area, there's cover, there's bad guys, we kill the bad guys, move on to the next area, and then we're good. And these guys are being hyper aggressive. They're just pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. But they're going to get punished for it. Because, you know, every game has its basic loop of what you do. Destiny has it. You kill some guys in an area, you move on to the next one, then you kill more guys. Maybe you kill a mini-boss, move to the next area, defend a point, and wash, rinse, and repeat uh, un until your eyes are bleeding. And that's going to be a similar thing to what we're doing now in Outriders. And the question is, is the repetitive stuff going to be fun for you? And so far, it feels like it is going to be fun. And we've entered world tier four. Yeah. And I th believe I have it set to automatically push me through the world tiers. So as I level up, I guess, things are going to get more and more difficult for me, which which I, I can get behind that. I, I, I like a challenging experience, even going through the story mode. So this will be fun. Jakob, I've reached the solar tower. I'm going in. What are you seeing in there? Some kind of weird electrical sparks flying everywhere. It means you're getting close. This altar, did I not mention? He's a goddamn electro freak. You mean he lights up light bulbs? More like flash frying everything for a mile. Look, I know you've always been able to handle yourself, but this son of a bitch is on a whole other level. As of recently, so am I. 
<laughs> okay, looks like we got a badass here. <laughs> Listen, I'd, I'd be lying if I said the dialogue wasn't a little corny, but that's the ride that I'm along for, and I'm completely okay with that. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. I got so close. I got so close. Oh my gosh. All right, listen. I'm not going to I'm not I'm not even going to show you the failed attempt at that boss fight. That was just kind of embarrassing. So we're going to go in and we're just going to pretend that whole mess didn't happen. Oh, look at me. I've got all my lightning powers and I like to make an entrance. Oh, I'm so strong, but I don't do any sit-ups, so I've got a beer gut. Whatever, dude. I'm not intimidated by your nonsense. You think I'm supposed to be scared of you because you got a cape? I think I'm supposed to be... I think I'm supposed to be scared of you? Not with that dad bod. All right, let's, do... <laughs> let's take this guy out. Let's freaking do this. What are you going to do? Eh? What are you going to do? Discharge mine? I don't know what that does. It looks like he put a little mine on the floor. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's there. Lightning Storm? I don't like the sound of that. Oh, he resisted it immediately? All right, Lightning Storm feels like it's problematic. I mean, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Oh, and he just keeps going. It's just <laughs> Thankfully, I can self-heal myself with one of my abilities. So I'll have to be very conscious of that. We'll just have to work around cover. Stay in the mid range and just keep blasting him. Discharge mine. I probably don't even really need to interrupt that because that's not very strong. The, the one that I need to interrupt is definitely Lightning Storm. That one hurts a lot. Man, that, that does not do that much damage to him, does it? Oh, he teleports. That's the one! Oh, he resisted it again. Oh boy, that's that's scary. Well, now I just have to run away from his lightning storm until he's done channeling. And once he's done, I'm going to hit him with, with both of my abilities. Get some health back and get some damage out. Discharge mine, that's the one I sort of don't care about. Because it feels like it's easy to get out of the way. What is that, steel wall? I don't know what that does. He's created a wall of steel around himself. Ah, there we go. Took him out. Okay, that felt pretty good. That was fun. And so, Outrider, you've had your first kill. We also do not die so easily, do we? Seth. Come. We must speak. They asked you to help them. To fight the altar down there. Why didn't you? The pathetic monstrosity was a distraction. People are dying because of him. Without the supply route open... They all die. These feeble creatures. Slaughtering each other over scraps. You waste your gifts. Running errands for them. Trying to win their meaningless, endless war. You must realize... You are not like them anymore. So what? I should play at being a god like you? I am not playing. But you are something even more. Altered and Outrider. The last Outrider. Do what you were sent here for. Go beyond the frontier. These people need their gods. Only one like you could lead them to a future. Why not you? They call him Moloch. Oh, 
I fight another war, far above this petty squalor. My war is with the worst of our kind. This one is too powerful. He will destroy us all, unless I hunt him down. But this is not your fight. You are to be the shepherd. Find a way for them out of this slaughter, Outrider. Here, it's done. Your supply line's open, I'm heading home. I can't believe it. Outrider, what you just did. I've lost a hundred men trying. Don't thank me yet. You still got a war to win. Not sure anyone's winning this goddamn war. But there's something even more important you might be able to do. Come see me in my bunker. And there we go, that's gonna do it for the Outriders demo. It was short, sweet, and to the point, and from what I experienced, it was a good time, and I definitely want to play the full game and see where the story goes, see what the builds are like, see what the more exciting weapons are like, and I'm looking forward to it. So, if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more Outriders content in the future, but also the regularly scheduled Destiny 2 content and whatever else the channel throws at you, that's on the horizon too. So, as always, the name of the game is Outriders. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.